no practical way that that, that, it, that was clear to them that the truck could have gotten here. But he could have driven this his truck there. Invested like people on the scene said it was as if the truck had just been dropped from the sky into the spot it was because like eventually when they recovered the truck later on like some of the reports i read that they had to cut down trees and basically like make a path to get towing equipment in there there was no wheeled access to where the, the truck was found yeah yeah so go they had to, they had to go there by foot initially <clears throat> like they had to go there by they couldn't get there with wheeled vehicles they had to, they had to get there by foot by exactly where carl's truck was um so, so once they got a hold of Carl, um, uh, Carl was taken to the closest hospital for evaluation, which was Carbon County Memorial Hospital in Rawlins. Yeah, but hold and, on, hold on. There's a little bit more weird stuff I'd like to quickly get into. One of sure. the things his wife accounts is that, like, when they get him, like, he is like a shell of himself. He, like, he's, he's, like, not talking. He's just, like, staring up at the sky. They, like, put him in a vehicle. He's just, like, looking up through the windshield, like, into the stars. And his wife, like, is, like, did, did you get an elk? And, like, she, he doesn't know who she is. He doesn't know who anyone is. He, he doesn't know what's going on. And he's just, like, they took, they took the elk. They took my elk. They took my elk. Like, that's all he can say. And he's just, like, looking up through the car. And, like, it freaks out his wife so much that, like, one of his buddies is like, hey, why don't I take Carl into my car right, and drive with him? And so she takes Carl. And there's – she tells a story of that, like, at some point they pull over for a second and the headlights, like, spook Carl. And he just jumps out of the car and, like, starts freaking out. And sheriff deputies actually pull their guns out on him. Like, draw <laughs> as if they're going to shoot him. And I was like, why, are they, why do they have guns out on him in the first place? And, like, they were going to shoot him in the back. And he's, like, running around. And then she realizes that it's the headlights kind of freaking him out. She's like, turn off the headlights. They turn off the headlights. And he just, like, goes back docile, walks back in the car and sits down and then continues to go on about how they took his elk they took my elk they took my elk until he gets to the hospital right like total like shock like not even himself like ridiculous like some sort of severe ptsd traumatic event obviously happened but i guess if someone had it sounds more like a psychosis yeah or something like or and again Drug right away psychosis ex- and that's funny you say that Zell, because right away the doctors dr taco who was the examining physician at the hospital thought he's like this guy's on fucking drugs dr gotta, taco <laughs> dr taco taco <laughs> no no it's taco, taco uh, in, this, in this circumstance we'll go with taco. Okay. i watched the video it was taco <laughs> i just like i just how sure I mean, that's, are you? I, yeah, I read it, Dan, so I was like, I just read it as T O N G C O. So well, I mean, and they had quite the accent because I heard Doctor Taco, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and he went like, "This guy's high as fuck. Let's do a drug test." Drug test comes back negative, right? But negative, it, <laughs> negative. No, no substance found. Not I don't know about that because no, for, like they they actually have to like send the blood panel away. They can test for alcohol and stuff like that, but if they want like a full drug panel, they have to send it away and get it to get any idea of what he's actually on. You can rule out a few like key drugs, but you can't rule out everything like that. Right. Well, we not, don't have not, screen, we don't not have... screening for everything at once. That they're saying right. Yeah, and they're not screening for space drugs, space pills. No, the, the, yeah, these these drugs aren't even on the list of you can't test for them. Yeah, how do you test for drugs you don't even know about? How do you test for slow mo? Right, you don't even well, know. The it. thing is, though, is you you'd imagine though that these drugs would elicit some type of fucking chemical response in your body though, and they would be able to see, you know, dopamine levels whatever spiked in your in your blood work. Cause I think, I, I don't know if they tested the drugs, for drugs specifically, but they yeah. did do blood work. Like they did blood work cause they talked about how his, at least and maybe not within the first few hours, but while he was staying in the hospital for, I think is said about, he spent about three days in the hospital recovering when they got his blood work back, there was enough 
like enough kind of strangeness to be remarked on that they said like his his blood his blood seemed to kind of be enriched <clears throat> with like a number of vitamins and minerals they said it was kind of like it was a bit it was remarkable it was something strange it was just like something they could remark on it was well, not something that's totally out he, of the ordinary he had but it was severe just that was weird prior to this incident he had severe uh kidney stones um that yeah, very painful he would have to pass and he had I, I can't he had remember. Scarring on his lo- he had scarring on his lungs because yes. he had come in contact with tuberculosis when he was younger. Yeah, and oh. both of those afflictions, ailments, si- yeah. ailments, were seemingly cured after this event. Right. I mean, like so, like kidney stones, you pass them, yeah. they're gone. You're not going to see them. You don't you don't heal from scarring on your lungs. That's not a thing. Like you don't get better from that. If you have scarring on your lungs, that's that's a lifelong aff- affliction that does not improve. Like that's that's just something you mitigate the symptoms of. I and like I'm like it. I'm not discounting the fact that maybe they could have, you know, spontaneously healed or something like that, but I feel like we had talked about a case where somebody they had they had taken bad x rays or something and then somebody had like said, Oh no, they healed the tuberculosis scars, but it was just like bad x rays or something. I feel like we talked about that. I feel like that's this. So yeah, that could that's, be an error. Yeah, it might have been something like what that. Is I mean, I'm just not, I'm just like, not he, related out. But think about that though, right? Like it's this guy, he took those pills. They said they were food pills. All of a sudden, his his blood work's all been his blood work is all hitting peak nutrients levels, and he's healed. It's like that's what those pills did. Yeah, they especially if you're going to want to fu- let's say, hey, we want to breed this guy, we want to study him, we want to fucking eat him, whatever the fuck we want to do with him. We we're going to make sure well, that he's you know that's, yeah, that's, that's an interesting crust. that's an interesting point that you said breed him uh, because if you remember they said to him like listen. You're like you're not you're you're not what we're looking for here. We're not what you're oh, he's looking fucking for. impotent. He's he had a vasectomy. He's shooting blanks. He's shooting blanks. Huh? Right. So then, so part of me thinks that so they like, can they can fucking uh, they can travel to Earth, but they can't just reattach some dis- vast difference or whatever the fuck they are. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, the, uh, their, their their surgical procedures are far less than us, but maybe there's recovery time, right? And that's not something they were willing to wait. So they go to Earth. They go to pick up. They pick up a breeding male, right? And they're like, hey. Come back to our planet, where we seemingly only have children. <laughs> oh. It's fucked up. Um, but anyway, like either way, he doesn't suit the purpose. So to me, I was kind of like, maybe they have hybrids or a hybridization program, right? And he he doesn't work. And he he seemingly thought that too. But he spends three days in hospitals. And one of the weird things for me is that like he didn't really remember anything. He doesn't remember his wife. Uh, he's like flirting with his wife being like, Oh, you're good looking. You're a good, good looking, looking girl. girl. Like it does. And his daughter comes in. And the second he sees his daughter, everything clicks. He remembers everything. Every, all his memories come flooding back to him in that instant. Like not about the encounter, but like he remembers who he is, where he is. It's, it's like whatever this psychosis was, he kind of thought that maybe it was some sort of program to while well, his wife thought that maybe it was something to do with his daughter. And that was a trigger to get his brain back right. here's, here's oh i gotta go off on a tangent really quick yeah go on. i love tangents <laughs> go ahead. Okay. so here's a weird thing right like right away when he it almost seems like fucking asshole one here kind of has a little bit of respect for for the guy right like he's he's been polite to him the whole time he's showed him around the ship he took him to his planet he kind of like talked to a man to man and it just i feel like there's a little bit of respect there and what my brain kind of goes to he's like he respects him and what does he know about him supposedly right off the bat well he knows he's a hunter maybe these guys are hunters and maybe mm. they're fucking kidnapping like you look at it they're 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 planets out of fish right they're taking elk which is something that you can hunt and maybe they would hunt people too Oh, it's so maybe that's what they're dangerous taking. games type of scenario. Yeah. Well, and and they're trying to repopulate their fucking planet with game stuff to eat. Uh, that's a good point. I thought that too, but I thought it. I, I I had a different little thought. I thought because remember they're taking five elk, they're taking the fish, they're breeding, they're farmers, they're farming food. 
The pills so are the people. Humans are just going to be slaves. The pills are people. <laughs> well, he said the pills oh. are made of the fish and the animals. And soon humans. Okay. We are the animals, Dan. And, we are the animals. And DMT. Well, we're right. an, we're probably animals to them, though, right? That's right. Sure. But it just seems to me animals. like when you saw, I I kind of thought that too. I was like, it seems to me like they're bringing enough. Because I'm like, what? You go in, you're just going to pick up five. You're going to have to come back and get more. Like if you got a population feed, your oceans are dry, your animals are dry. It would make sense that you're you're getting enough that you'd be like you can start breeding you're breeding animals so maybe this is hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video